What exactly is the FHA 203K loan and what makes it just so powerful? In today's video, I'm going to explain what the 203K is, why I think it's real estate's best kept secret, and how you can leverage it to build some quick equity and cash flow and really build some wealth for you in the process. I'm Matt Percaro from the 203K Way, and I help aspiring real estate investors and homeowners capitalize on the FHA 203K renovation program so that they can find fixer upper properties to build equity and create a lot of long standing wealth for them and their families in the process. If you're interested in learning more about the 203K and how we leverage it to build equity, find cash flow, house hack, and live for free, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the other content that I have coming your way. So what exactly is the 203K loan? You may have heard some mixed things and I'm here to clear the air on exactly what it is and really again, more importantly, how to capitalize on it and know it's right for you. As someone that's used it really effectively myself and have helped hundreds of other people do the same, I'm here to tell you the benefits of it and why you should capitalize on it if you're interested in this product. So the 203K is just like the traditional FHA. It falls under the same guidelines, has the same approval requirements, but it just has one extra key point. What it allows you to do is it allows you to wrap the renovation costs that you would put in normally to buy a fixer upper property. It allows you to wrap those into your mortgage. So you're paying for your purchase price, plus the renovation costs in one wrapped up loan. This is great for people that are just getting into real estate investing or just looking to purchase a property for themselves and don't have the extra capital to pay for the renovation. All you need to pay out of pocket is the FHA required 3.5% down. That brings me into the FHA guidelines, just what they are and what the 203K requires as well in terms of what you need to get approved. First, the FHA 203K requires a 580 credit score. Now, most banks are gonna be looking somewhere in the 600s. 580 is usually pretty low for most banks, but the FHA guidelines only require you to be at a 580. Obviously, they require you to have the 3.5% down payment plus some reserves. You're also able to get gifts from family and you're able to pull from a lot of different resources. They look for two years stable income. Now, this can mean a bunch of different things. People ask me all the time, they say, Matt, I, own, I have a 1099 job. Am I able to get approved for a 203K? Generally, what they're looking to approve you on is on your consistent income that you show on your tax returns every year. If you write off a lot of your income, chances are you're not gonna show much and that's going to affect how much you can get approved for on your loan. Most of all, they're giving you your approval based on your debt to income ratio. FHA loans usually look for a 50% debt to income ratio. The debt to income ratio is how much monthly debt you have, monthly debt payments, your car payment, your student loan payment, um, you know, any type of personal loans, anything like that, plus your future home payment, whatever that's going to be, that has to be less than half of what your gross monthly income is. So that's how you get approved for it. Now, why do I feel like these are more powerful than FHA loans, especially in this market? The two big things that sellers hate about FHA buyers are the fact that they need to get an inspection, and if that inspection doesn't pass, they're not able to close on the loan. They require the seller to make the repairs before going to closing. The second thing is if your appraisal ends up being lower than what you offered on the property, FHA loans won't let you close on the property. The 203K loan solves this by two things. Number one, you could purchase the property as is. Whatever comes back on the inspection, you're purchasing the pro property subject to you're going to do the repairs to get it up to snuff so that the bank is willing to lend on it. The second thing is just because the as is appraisal comes back higher than what you offered or lower than what you offered, if you're able to build equity and renovate the property and it's gonna be worth more when it's done, it goes off of that appraisal rate and it usually allows you to purchase a lot more higher on a property than typically you could on an FHA. So what are the additional steps that you get on something like a 203K loan? The first big difference is you're going to bring on someone called a 203K HUD consultant. A 203K HUD consultant is essentially a home inspector that's aware of the FHA 203K guidelines. Usually what happens is they're the first person to enter the property. They look at the property and see what repairs need to be done. 
They also discuss with you what repairs you'd like to be done. From those, they're able to create something called an SOR or a schedule of repairs. On this schedule of repairs, they're gonna create a, essentially a scope of work. This scope of work is going to be what they give to the contractor to create a bid. Once you have the pricing back from the contractor, the pricing and the bid and the scope of work get submitted to the bank. Once the bank gets it and approves it, that money at closing will go into an escrow account when you close on the property. Once it goes to escrow, it starts to get drawn out by the contractor as they continue through the process of doing the renovation on the house. The HUD consultant is going to be there, look at the work that's being completed, and as the work gets completed, they write up a draw schedule and send it to the bank for the funds to be dispersed to the contractor. Remember, your total loan amount is going to be your purchase price plus the renovation costs on the loan. So for example, let's just say using easy numbers, you purchase a house for $50,000. The house needs a lot of work and you need to put $50,000 worth of work into the property. Your total loan amount is going to be that $100,000 total minus the 3.5% down payment. In this case, it would be 3,500 bucks. As you can see, there's a lot of beauty in this because for only $3,500, you can control a $100,000 asset. Now what's even better and more important about this thing is if you look for properties that are gonna be able to gain value, let's say for instance that that $100,000 property is gonna be worth $150,000 when you're done, that would mean you essentially paid only 3,500 bucks to build $50,000 of equity on the renovation process in just a short amount of time, usually within the first year. If you're starting to see the power of the 203K loan, Go ahead and like this video. So why do I call the 203K loan real estate's best kept secret? Well, number one, it's not too well known. Number two, as I said before, it only requires a 3.5% down payment. It's almost the lowest you could put down of any other loan aside from the VA loan. It allows you to buy fixer uppers, things like foreclosures, as is properties, other properties that are usually just reserved for guys that could purchase only with cash. It allows you to do the same with a loan. Another great thing about the 203K loan and all FHA loans for that matter is they allow you to purchase up to a four unit property still with only 3.5% down. If you're interested in doing something like living for free or being a landlord or a cash investor, it allows you to purchase a property, live in one unit and let your tenants pay your mortgage from the other rent from the other units in the property. And most importantly, it allows you to do something that I like to call the live and flip strategy. It allows you to take advantage of low down payment, low interest rate, get into a property, build equity into it with a renovation with only a small amount of money out of pocket, but be able to get a big return in the form of equity. Now, if you're an aspiring real estate investor, you can take that equity and use it to go buy more properties. Obviously, it's a really great way to get started, and that's what this whole community is about. So of course there's more to the 203K loan, but this is generally the best way that I explain it to people so you could really understand the benefits of it and also the power of it and how much you could do with it on your very first property or your next property that you intend to buy. If you have any questions about the 203K or how to use it, let me know below. I answer all my questions and all my comments and I'm gonna be sure to give you the best next course of action on what you wanna do next and to find out if the 203K loan is right for you. If you like this video and you wanna learn more, check out some of my other videos that I have posted here and go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.